This is absolutely insane to me, but another Hollywood studio is about to crash and burn as it embraces woke ideologies. Despite grinding businesses into the ground and destroying this fabric of societies, Paramount CEO Bob Backish declares we will be more successful with diversity, equity, and inclusion at the core of our business. Paramount is now deciding to go woke. This is the company behind Mission Impossible. This is the company behind Sonic the Hedgehog and so many other franchises that have come out recently. They are now deciding to go woke. Paramount CEO Bob Backish made the foolish and utterly in a pro pronouncement that his company will be more successful by embracing destructive diversity, equity, and inclusion policies. I do not understand this whatsoever. I do not understand. Stand, but here we are. Diversity, equity, and inclusion policies are objectively terrible for business and societies. Bud Light, parent company Anheuser Busch, reported in August that the company's U.S. revenue fell a whopping 10% after a face of boycott from Americans for promoting trans ideology. Volition Games was shut down by Embracer Group after they embraced DEI policies in their Saints Row reboot game. The game's sales were atrocious. The Walt Disney Company is facing a hostile takeover from investor Nelson Peltz after they campaigned against a bill trying So Disney, of course, as we know, is basically the... The, the ringleader of woke ideology in Hollywood, and that is completely backfiring on them. Despite this overwhelming evidence of how disastrous these policies are, The Hollywood Reporter reports that Paramount CEO Bob Backish attended Paramount Global's fifth annual Global Inclusion Week, where he declared, I... Our senior leadership team and our board believe we will be more successful with DEI at the core of our business. I'm starting to think, uh, guys, that... BlackRock or, you know, one of these other abominations is probably speaking with him and telling him, hey, this is the direction that you have to go. He added, we all come from different places and understanding people's perspectives is actually what this week is all about. Diversity, equity, and inclusion is fundamental to our business. So, guys, we can basically just say, rip Paramount, please. In the comments, let's all leave a rip Paramount in the comments for this absolutely insane direction that they are deciding to go in. Backish was not alone in his comments. Marvel, Marva Small, uh, Smalls, uh, Paramount's executive VP and head of the Office of Global Inclusion revealed the whole DEI initiative the company has embraced was the United Kingdom government action. Aha. So here we go, everyone. We have yet another company that is deciding to sell its soul for the woke agenda. Smalls would go on to try and justify these failed policies that are in the process of ruining once lauded companies. For us, the business case for diversity is the business. It is not something we do in our spare time and pull off a shelf to check the box. Right. Right. It is all about checking boxes. That's what it's all about. So it is not about transaction, but it is really personalized, deeply seated and rooted in our business practices every day. When we say inclusion is paramount, we mean inclusion is paramount. <laughs> this is just absolutely just crazy, man. This is crazy. Times are uh, times of challenges and uncertainty where some communities may feel marginalized or disenfranchised are just a reminder that the core values of Paramount mean that we never take our foot off the gas and drive a culture that is very equitable, inclusive, and that creates a sense of belonging. Which, ironically enough, as we all know, diversity has become the division in a lot of cases, and it continues to divide. It continues to divide people. And that is exactly what they want. They want us to be divided, and this is what the companies are purposefully doing. Dividing us, the people, by these insane agendas. So with all that being said, this is just absolutely crazy. I'm just blown away by this. But let me know what you think about this in the comments below. What do you think about this insane news? Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.